AUPACC team, nomenclature of Hawkins. AUPAC stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. First, let's take a look at the acyclic alkynes. Acyclic alkynes. The first one, straight line alkynes, count the number, uh, count the carbon number, and the name of the chain with the Greek roots. Pantene for five carbons, hexane for six carbons, and so on. The suffix ANE identifies the molecules as alkenes. This is an example. This compound has six carbons, so they call the hexane. The second the branched alkenes. The longest carbon chain of a acyclic alkene is called a parent chain. The short ones are branches or substituents. To name branched alkenes, first find the parent chain using the same method for straight line alkenes to name the parent chain. Then find and name the substituents. Alkenes, alkene sub, alkene substituents are called alkyl groups. All the alkyl groups are formed by removing one hydrogen from a alkene to name alkyl group change the ANE ending of the parent alkene to YL. Then, number the atoms in the parent carbon chain to give the first substituent the lower number. Use the prefixes to give the identity, location, and the number of substituents attached to the parent chain. Let's take a look at the single uh, substituents, this molecule. This mo the parent chain has uh, uh, six carbons, so this is called a hexane. At the two position, it's a methyl group, it's, so it's called a two methyl hexane. Then take a look at the, if we have two or more substituents. Then we combine substituent names and the numbers. First, if two or more identi identical substituents are bonded to the parent chain, using di for two, tri for three, tetra for four, and so on. If the substituents are different, alphabetize the names of sub substituents, ignoring any prefixes, like uh, di, for example. Try aso proceeds di massive because the e in aso comes before the m in of massive in the alphabet. Proceed the name of each substituent by the number that indicates the location. There must be one number for each substituent. Finally, separate the number by commas and separate the number from the letters by dashes. This is the, uh, take a look at the examples. The first, this one is the uh, 2,3-dimethyl hexane. It's a 6 carbon hexane. It's a, the, at, uh, uh, at the C2 and the C3 positions, the, each, uh, at the C2 and the 3 positions, this carbon, uh, this molecule ha have methyl groups. 
So this compound is called the 2,3-dimethyl hexane. Next, uh, this take a look at this one. This is the parent chain has uh, eight carbons, so they call the octane. Take a look at the side chain uh, branches. At two position, th there's a methyl group. Five per position, th there's a uh, acyl group, and uh, six methyl. So this uh, molecule is called a five acyl. 2,6,2,6-dimethyl-octane. Two, six, two, six, then let's take a look at cyclo organs. Organs contain copper ring. Simple cyclo organs are named by adding the prefix cyclo to the name of the acyl I a cyclic alkene having the same number of carbons. Let's take a look at steps how to name cyclo alkenes with the substituents. First, find the parent cyclo alkene, count the number of the carbon atoms in the ring, and use the parent name for the alkene corresponding to the carbon number, add the prefix cyclo to the parent organ name. Then name and the number the substituents. No number is needed to indicate the location of the single substituent. For rings with more than one substituent, begin numbering at one substituent, then give the Second substituent, the lower number, with the two different substituents, number the string to assign the lower number to the substituents alphabetically. Take a look at the examples. This is a circular organ. Uh, the ring has uh, six carbons. At the C1 and the C3, this ring has the two uh, substituents, methyl groups, so they call the 1,3-dimethyl cyclohexane. This example also is the ring has six uh, carbons, but they have two different uh, substituents. At one position, there's the acyl group. A three position methyl group, so it's called a one acyl three methyl cyclohexane. 